Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Lawrence Ross. I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I'm not even a part-time YouTuber. I will just occasionally post videos whenever uh, whenever I feel like it. And this new YouTube rules thing just absolutely just drives me insane. YouTube, for some reason, they do not practice the rules consistently. They pick and choose who they want to punish. For example, I do a radio show every Friday from 7 to 10 p.m. on RazRadioLive.com. That's R-A-S RadioLive.com. And one of the things we do is we talk for about an hour, hour 10, hour 15, however long we want to go for. Then we go take a little break and we come back and we continue the program, but we have a song in the middle to kind of hold the audience, audience over, I should say. And on the network, that's totally fine, but for YouTube... We cut the music out, and the reason why is because we are so afraid of giving a copyright strike on our channel that we don't want to take the risk. I frankly feel that's completely wrong, because whatever happened to fair use in this country? Because it seems that the greedy fuckers over at the record company and all these other places, the record companies, the TV stations, etc., etc., you post a video to cover your ass, you can have the original audio, and if you want to, you can put the video up there. But if you do, in the description, it seems as if you have to say, I do not own this video. All, all rights go to 20th Century Fox, or uh, Virgin Mega Music, or whatever, whatever company it is that you're trying not to get sued by. But again, whatever happened to fair use? You should be able to use it however you want to. I really don't get why we have to do that. But YouTube is so inconsistent because we have gotten a couple of, I guess you'd say, uh, we got a couple of, you know, we got a couple of warnings or so. Because I remember a couple of years ago, we, uh, uh, a couple of times on the program, we would play audio of the comedian Bill Hicks. Very funny comedian. But apparently YouTube, apparently the Bill Hicks estate, must have tracked down our video and said, nope, because I don't know if, I don't know exactly why. I mean, if anything, I think we're trying to keep the spirit of Bill Hicks's memory going by playing his commentary and honoring his comedy, but apparently they don't see it that way. Apparently all these, apparently all these companies want just money, 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 and the thing that drives me nuts about YouTube and their inconsistency with this is you go to YouTube, you type in any artist that you can think of, and nine times out of ten, you will see a search result that says the artist's name, an album that they put out, and then sometimes it'll say full album, or sometimes it even won't say full album, but you look at the video length, and let's say an album is 52 minutes and 48 seconds, you look at this video, and it's 52 minutes and 48 seconds, and you get to hear the whole album right there. No problem. YouTube doesn't, YouTube doesn't do thing one about them. But meanwhile, the little fish, oh, they get fucked over, man. The other thing that really drives me nuts about this YouTube rule is that uh, they're now going to start penalizing people who use foul language and offensive words and talk about controversial topics or make offensive jokes. You know what this is, ladies and gentlemen, to sum this all up? This is YouTube cowling down and kissing the feet of these politically correct social justice warriors, these pussy-ass motherfuckers who didn't get their participation trophy this morning for making their fucking coffee. Boo fucking who? Here's my philosophy in regards to that. If you can't take a joke, if you can't take foul language, if you can't take controversial subjects, fuck off. Fuck off. You're no fun. You can't hang with the real people of America. And that is the way I see it. Goodbye.